Hello everyone, Christopher Beast here, and today we'll be doing a short little video covering everything we know in lore about the Empress. The Empress is a figure within Signalis' lore that is mostly surrounded in mystery, being the founder of the Yusan Empire, the creator of the Replicas, and a very powerful bioresonant, she holds much important in the history of the universe. I should preface here, if you already watched my Yusan Empire lore video, that covered most of the details I will be covering today. However, I felt it was necessary to cover this important figure in a short little video of her own. So with no more delay, let's just get right into this. The largest and really only document that gives us an understanding of the Empress can be found from the Son of the Gods Banned Book. This document tells us that the foundation of the Empire was a direct result of the Grand Empress's actions, as she used her vast bioresonant powers to create the first replicas, as well as likely using the bioresonant ability to influence the minds of the rest of humanity to bend it under her control. This caused her to establish a new unified human state that we know as the Yusan Empire. The book directly states the following. Her, the Grand Empress, immense will bent humanity into the Empire of Yusan and lifted us to the stars. It was her power that embedded life in the first of the machine servants that now carry the weight of the Empire on their carbon steel backs. She also likely used her powers to climb a fort in Boyon in order to build the Imperial Palace which now stands at the seat of the Imperial Government. Outside of this document, we have to make a small assumption in order to continue to gain a deeper understanding of her. So within nowhere there is a shrine to the Empress or a empress. In the code, it is known as the Icon of Knowledge, and it is a location where we get the Plate of Knowledge. Seeing how it refers to a empress, and we only know one empress in the lore, there is a high chance it is referring to the same empress we know. If this is the case, then the empress's hand note can give us some clarity about her rule. On the first day, she was crowned. On the longest day, nothing was done. On the next day, she was wed. On the last day, she took her life. This document is used for the puzzle regarding the rings and the empress in order to obtain those plates of knowledge that we need for another puzzle. If the document is to believe though, then she used her powers to become the empress of humanity, did nothing for quite some time after being crowned, married someone, and then finally died. With the room's funeral parlor-esque aesthetic as well as the decayed form of the body which we place rings, it's quite likely that this room exists in memorial of the now deceased empress, perhaps even being her final resting place. So that concludes today's video. It's short, sweet, condensed review of the empress. I felt that it was important to do because she's just an integral character of the lore that I want us all to be on the same page with. So even if it's just a review of already known info, it's nice to have it all in one video. Hopefully y'all enjoyed, and if you would like to see all this organized in a spot, I made a wiki page specifically for this video, which will be linked below. Speaking of links, if you would like to speak to other Signalis players, I have updated the links for my Discord in the description, so if they weren't working prior, hopefully they should work now. But this has been Christopher Beast, and I hope you all enjoyed this. See y'all next time.